future Jess here, refilming the intro because the audio was absolutely terrible. Today we are reviewing the Pantene Level 5 Mousse. You may have seen me use it a few times before on my channel, but today we're using it as just a one and done styler by itself to see how it holds up. And going into today's video, I was hoping that my hair would dry quickly with mousse being more on the lightweight side. So let's get into it. So first off, of course, I am I'm saturating my hair really well with water today. My hair felt so, so heavy when it was wet. I don't know why some days when I wet it, it feels heavier than others. To shampoo today, I am using the Pretty Curly Girl, I think it's called the Peppermint Shampoo. I adore this shampoo. It's been a while since I used it. So I'm really massaging that into my scalp and root area. And then I'm also taking some and working that through the lengths of my hair because I did have a barbecue on the weekend so my hair is stinking of smoke so I really wanted to give my whole hair a really good cleanse. And then I am rinsing that out thoroughly and to condition today I'm just using this Aussie conditioner. I think it's called Pure Locks. It's been a while since I used this one. I just saw this in my cupboard and thought oh you are the chosen one today. So I took some of that and really worked that into my hair. My hair really soak that stuff up so I added some more and really worked that through then I detangled starting at the ends and working my way up it was very quick and easy to detangle today which I love I'm happy about that and then I really squished the conditioner into my hair I really wanted to work on marrying the water and conditioner together today and working that really well into my hair because your girl's been straightening her hair a bit too much lately. So once I squished that in for a little while, I added some more water to my hair and then just gave it a brief squishing again to really work the water and conditioner into my hair before rinsing thoroughly. I then took the Pretty Curly Girl Extra Loving Leave-In Conditioner <laughs> and just worked that through my hair. In the past when I have used the Pantene Mousse, I found that it's worked really well with this leave-in so I wanted to stick to that combination today. I'm then flipping myself upright and using my Big Dem brush to style my hair just how I usually do, just to smooth everything down, separate it into clumps ready for when I go and scrunch in the mousse. Once I have finished brush styling my hair, I'm taking the Pantene mousse and I'm squirting a dollop into my hands, glazing it over my hair and then scrunching it in. I haven't really tried many mousses on my hair. I've only tried a couple. One of them is by a brand called Sios. Did not like that one, but this one I do really love. It it was one of my go-to products in the beginning of my wavy hair journey. It gave me so many bomb wash days. So yeah, I just really enjoy this mousse and it's really lightweight. When you're scrunching it into your hair, it almost doesn't even feel like you have anything in your hair. My hair just, I don't know, just feels almost naked. <laughs> A common theme with me is that I often use too much product by accident and with mousse that can happen. <laughs> I find it really hard to judge with mousse how much I need, but on my wet hair I used three dollops and I just scrunched that in my hair in all directions. Really did plenty of scrunching to work it into my hair and then I scrunched my hair with a towel generously and then I'm putting my hair up in a towel for about 10 minutes before I go and add maybe two more dollops of mousse to my damper and then I will diffuse until 100% dry. So I am now taking my hair down and I'm adding a little more mousse onto my damp hair and I'm just glazing that and scrunching that in and even scrunching a little bit into my roots as well. I don't really get much definition or volume up there but let's see if this kind of helps. <laughs> and then I'm also scrunching it with the towel a little bit because again it's hard to judge how much mousse you're actually using and if you're using too much or not so I really wanted to make sure that I didn't go overboard. And then I will diffuse until 100% dry and here we are back with the kind of finished result. 
Yes. I was not expecting this mousse to give me such a hard cast. My hair was so crunchy, I even started to scrunch it out while I was diffusing because it was getting really hard. <laughs> so far, the definition's looking quite nice. Um, I'm going to scrunch it with a bit of oil now and fluff it out and I'm hoping it looks good. In some places, it does look a little bit stringy, which might fix itself once I scrunch it out. So I'm adding a couple drops of oil into my hair and I'm scrunching it like crazy, clapping the really stubborn parts that do not want to scrunch out and even kind of rubbing my hands together. And I really went crazy fluffing up my hair today as well because the cast is so strong. I don't really need to worry about frizz or about my clumps breaking up very much because this cast is so good today that I can really go crazy and it not have a negative effect on my hair. <laughs> so here are the finished results. Um, my hair is so stringy on this side. I definitely think I may have used slightly too much mousse. This side is nicer. The clumps are a bit thicker. I haven't been able to completely scrunch out the cast. It is still a bit crunchy in some areas, but I'm not too worried about it because it should kind of fix itself as I sleep. And this may actually mean that my hair will last longer than it usually does. My drying time today was much quicker. It is really hot here today, but the mousse did help as well. I did get a really nice cast from it, which I don't usually get with mousses, which again was good. I feel like the hold is going to be decent. And this mousse pairs really well with plenty of other styling products. Products. You can do lots of combinations with mousse. It's just a very versatile styler. This mousse is also very easily available to loads of different countries, maybe even all countries, probably, I don't know. <laughs> and it is super affordable, very cheap. And if you're washing your hair once, maybe twice a week and using this every wash day, it's still going to last you a while, especially if you're pairing it with other products too. So I highly Highly recommend this especially for beginners as well because I know that when you're first starting out and you're experimenting a lot with your hair a lot of things can go wrong and in my personal opinion I think in the beginning when you're trying out new things you're getting used to styling your hair wavy or curly it's better to use affordable products because if a wash day doesn't turn out great then at least you're not wasting expensive products so yeah I highly recommend this product Consider Considering I used just a mousse, the definition has lasted really, really well. I think my hair would have looked even better if I used just a little less mousse because I do definitely think that I went a little overboard, but I'm really happy with these results. This side isn't fantastic. I'm not a fan of this side, but this side is quite nice. And from the back, my hair looks really good too. Let me know in the comments what your favorite combination of products are when you use mousse. Have you tried this particular mousse? What were your thoughts on it? And if you'd like to see how I got this haircut that I have right now, then make sure to check out this video and I will see you next time. Bye.